<laughs> What's up everybody, this is Heavy Metal Geek here with my first tutorial. So if you've ever tried to use your phone's mobile hotspot as an internet source for Xbox Live, chances are good that you've encountered the problem of having either a moderate or strict NAT setting. What? No! Which means you could be experiencing some issues in connecting to Xbox Live parties, and even worse, game parties. Unable to join? Also, strict NAT settings can mean it actually was the lag. What? I killed him! And perhaps the most frustrating thing to a gamer, it can result in the loss of connection from a game. Uh, not again. Thankfully, there's a way to get open NAT settings with your hotspot. All you need is a computer and an ethernet cable. The first thing that you want to do is to turn on your phone's wireless hotspot. Just go to your settings, network connections, tethering and portable hotspot, and turn your hotspot on. Once your hotspot kicks on, go ahead and join the network on your computer. Once your computer establishes the wireless network, go ahead and plug in one end of the ethernet cable into your computer and then the other end into the back of your Xbox. Now that you have the computer and Xbox hardwired together, open up the network and sharing center. Here you can see that the computer is trying to identify the network. After a minute or two, it will eventually identify it as a public network and should be telling you that there is no internet access on the network. In order for the Xbox to gain internet access through the computer, we have to enable internet connection sharing in the network settings of the computer. So go ahead and click on the wireless network connection, click properties, then click on sharing, and go ahead and check mark the top box, and then select the network that we are sharing it to, which is local area connection 2 in my case, then click OK and go ahead and close out of this window as well. Next we need to configure the local area connections IP settings so click on it and click properties and then click on the internet protocol version 4 and go ahead and enter the number in right here uh, if it's not already entered in. This is just what my computer defaulted to when I enabled internet connection sharing uh, from the wireless network connection so if yours already has something in there just go ahead and leave it otherwise enter in what I have here. Now at this point we should be ready to go ahead and test the connection on our Xbox, so go ahead and X out of all these windows and test the connection. And there you have it, we're no longer getting the warning saying that the NAT settings are strict or moderate. Now this method does come with a slight amount of maintenance. Um, let's see, if you open up Network and Sharing Center again, go to Wireless Network, Properties, and go back to Sharing. Uh, if you click on the Internet Connection Sharing Settings here, uh, you will see a couple listings that say Xbox, that have an IP address, and then either UDP or TCP. Um, these will start to fill up and once you get about five of them I believe it will no longer let you connect to Xbox Live but all you have to do is just uh, highlight it here, click delete, and then hit OK and then you should be good to go again.